हेलो एवरी वन वी विल सी द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ प्रिटी गुड प्राइवेसी और पी जी पी दिस पी जी पी इज यूज टू प्रोवाइड कॉन्फिडेंशलिटी एंड ऑथेंटिकेशन सर्विस यूज फॉर ई मेल एंड टू स्टोर द फाइल एप्लीकेशन इफ वी सी द स्टेप्स इन्वॉल्व विद पी जी पी दैन देर आर ओवरऑल फोर स्टेप्स द फर्स्ट वन इज द पी जी पी इज सेलेक्टिंग बेस्ट अवेलेबल क्रिप्टोग्राफिक अलगोरिथम एज अ बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक it integrates these algorithm in the general purpose al- application and it is making the package and its documentation freely available finally it enter into an agreement with a company to provide fully compatible low cost version of pgp now if we see the operational description of pgp the pgp consists of six services first one is pgp authentication this particular service is used to provide authentication to the user if we see the steps it is something like this the sender is creating the message and uses sha1 to generate 160 bit hash code of message then this hash code is encrypted with the rsa algorithm using sender's private key at the receiving end the receiver is using RSA with the sender's public key to decrypt and recover the hash code. Finally, the receiver generates a new hash code for the message and compare with the de- decrypted hash code. If both the code matches, then it is accepted. The second service provided by PGP is PGP confidentiality. It is this confidentiality is provided by encrypting the message which has to be transmitted or to be stored locally as a file the third service provided is pgp authentication and confidentiality when both these services are used that means authentication and confidentiality the sender is signing the message with his or her own private key and encrypts the message with the session key and then the encrypts uh, the session key with the recipient's public key then comes pgp compression wherein we are going to compress the message once it has applied with the signature before encryption the encryption is required as it is saving the space for email transmission and for the file storage for a compression purpose pgp is using zip z uh, function and to unzip or to decompress the message we are using unzip function which is indicated by z inverse the fifth functionality or fifth service available with pgp is email compatibility the pgp is providing the service of converting the raw 8 bit binary stream to a stream of printable ascii characters as we know most of the email services are ascii compatible and the sixth service is segmentation and reassembling the pgp is subdividing the message which is very long or too large into a segments which are small enough to send via email now let us see what are the cryptographic keys and key rings used with pgp basically there are four different keys which are used with pretty good privacy or pgp those are one time session symmetric key the public key the private keys the pass phrase based symmetric keys now let us see the general format of a pgp message whenever we talk about pgp message it consists of basically three components in which the first component is message itself or we call it as message component this message component will include the actual data which has to be stored as a file or which has to be transmitted and this file will have the file name and time time stamp which specifies the time of creation of this particular file okay the second component of pgp is signature component as the name in, uh, indicating it is dealing with the signatures so it is including following things with it the first one is time stamp which is specifying the time at which signature was made the signature will prove the authenticity of the sender then comes the message digest which is uh, giving the hash code and two octet of message digest which is enabling the recipient to determine if the correct public key was used to decrypt the message and the final was key id of sender's public key which is identifying the actual public key being used then the third component with pgp message 
format is that it is using session key component. It is including session key and the identifier of the recipient public key which is used by the sender to encrypt the session key. The next concept comes in the form of PGP message generator or receptor. It includes signing the message, encrypting the message, decrypting the message and authenticating the message. The different uh, algorithms used with PGP are the first one is public, public key algorithm which is used for signing the digest or encrypting the message. The public key algorithm can be RSA. Next comes symmetric key algorithm. This algorithm can be used for conventional encryption and the example is triple DES. Then comes the hash algorithm. It is used for creating hash in the P PGP. Already we know what is public key algorithm, symmetric key algorithm and hash algorithm. The example of hash algorithm is MD5 etc. Okay, the next algorithm used with PGP is compression. This, as the name indicates, this particular algorithm we are using for compressing our message or decompressing. The example can be zip function for compressing and unzip for decompressing. Then we will see the concept of PGP certificate which is used for authenticating the public key. So the first PGP certificate can be X.509 certificate which is a single path from the fully trusted authority to any certificate. Next come PGP certificate. Here there is no need for certificate authority. Anybody can sign the certificate for anyone else in the ring. Then comes trust and legitimacy. The entire operation of PGP is based on introduces trust. The certificate trust and the legitimacy of a public key. So here we are having introducer trust levels, certificate trust levels and key legitimacy. Then we are having starting the ring and the key ring table. This key ring table is keeping track of two key rings. One is private key ring and another one is public key ring. That's all about the PGP or pretty good privacy. Thank you.